did you guys know that Joan of Arc Prime was first revealed on September 18th 2022 that's right it's been 10 and a half months almost an entire year since a new Prime Commander was added to Rise of Kingdoms and it's been over four months since we first learned about the season two relics and we only just got Alexander the Great and Constantine so what is going on we're going to talk about all this in today's video but first what's going on guys cheers I got a little koozie that says let's get shipped wrecked it's just sparkling water relax now real quick I'm giving away a hundred dollars to one lucky subscriber in the month of August this video is not sponsored there's no strings attached this isn't some weird way of collecting your data I literally just haven't done a giveaway in a long time so there's going to be a link in the description below it'll bring you to this page and you basically just go through and click on all my social media accounts and you follow me on all of them and also join my discord that's important I'm going to announce the winner in probably a video but definitely on my discord as well and if you follow me on all social media platforms you have a double chance of winning the prize that's right each social media follow is worth 250 entries but if you do all them you get an extra 2000 entries so make sure to follow me everywhere and if this does well maybe we'll do it again next month yes it's literally free there's there's no you don't have to be so skeptical or don't enter if you don't want I don't care I mean if no one enters I'll just save money I guess I don't know anyway let's talk about these new relics shall we now we've known about the new season two relics for a while the pyrus relic is not something that we knew until it came into the game uh, i haven't talked about pyrus's new relic because they said in a mail that it is displaying incorrectly or something like that i don't know if that means just the little picture here is showing wrong or if they're showing the wrong stats i have no idea but this is what we have for pyrus now here's the thing that's odd to me but most is a gold key commander and because of that he has a double relic here which is really powerful and pyrus is also a gold key commander but he's only got a single relic at this point i don't really understand that i don't know why they wouldn't just put the upgraded relic here just right off the rip because as it stands 15 percent defense and five percent skill damage is really nice but it's definitely not enough to move the needle for pyrus he's still going to dominate the first kvk especially if you are a whale or a kraken but in season of conquest you know he's really going to be probably not your first choice i think everybody knew that coming into it it was i mean he's a gold key commander like what do you expect now you will notice that i did unlock constantine and alexander the great I did this because one Constantine I actually do use in Lost Canyon and in Sunset Canyon so I figured the extra attack and normal attack damage is nice especially because I've literally nowhere else to spend these coins up here like I I have so many of these uh and they're releasing them so slow that it's like Jesus I might as well unlock it you know even if this is a very minor benefit at least I'm getting something out of it right and then I also unlock the Alexander the Great one just because I have faith that perhaps at some point in the future maybe if we're lucky he's going to get a really nice double relic and it'll be I don't know 30 percent defense and you know 10 percent normal attack damage reduction I don't know it's taken them months to add these relics and of course we also have Saladin and Genghis Khan over here and they still haven't released uh Tamiris they still haven't released Edward of Woodstock and they also haven't released Wu Zetian all three of those are confirmed to have relics we already know what they do they're just not in the game yet and I don't know what's taking so long bro it's crazy in the four and a half months since they announced or since we first discovered that the season two relics were coming they have released Druga Leong an absolute open field god and they've also revealed and have already started implementing Hua Chibing. this is he's going to be on the wheel in literally nine minutes at the time of recording this video and even if Hua Chibing is not going to be like the same level as Druga Leong in terms of just being an open field god he's still better than Zhang Yu in the open field and Zhang Yu is still better than Genghis Khan where even is he bro the piece of trash is hiding where did he there he is Jesus Christ so Khan has been power crept twice at this point he's been lapped already okay and that brings me to my point where like when these relics were first uh discovered in Rise of Kingdoms we needed them then at that time and by now we should already have the double relics for season two okay uh, that's my opinion that's my thoughts on this I think season two commanders right now like these relics are useless 
they are actually useless i only got these because i have a ton of currency chilling i'm not going to use these commanders for open field pvp alexander the great is still not somebody that you should be using in late game uh C kvk3 season of conquest he's not good enough anymore okay my assumption was that it was taking so long because they realized that they had to double relic them upon their launch that was my assumption as to why like why else would it take five months four months right they we already knew what it was literally four months ago so like what's the deal right they already had the artwork completed like the, it was all done the, these relics were done and in the game four months ago we already know that for a fact so like they haven't changed it it's not like they went back and changed the stats they're all the same stats it's not like there was balancing issues they just literally didn't implement them they just they were just sitting there doing nothing for four months I don't know what the strategy was there I don't know if they were like keeping an eye on the global currency and seeing like okay well when the total player base currency goes to this level then we'll launch it I don't know what the idea was there but it's too late bro it's way too late and you maybe even need to release season three you know Guan Yu they probably need at least one relic at this point as well okay and that's not even going to make them meta it's just gonna bring them up to almost usable right like i'm not even looking at alexander the great i can't even stand a look at his face because that's how not good he is even with a relic okay basically we need a second relic here for me to even open my eyes bro like that's it i can't even look at him that's how bad he is like it's crazy i know that makes people mad it makes me mad more than anybody because i love alexander the great you know how many videos i made talking about how good he is okay no one's more mad at, about him not being mad anymore than me all right so yes i don't know why it's taking them so long but if you're wondering should we unlock these relics probably not they're not very good unless you literally need them it's your first season of conquest and you have to use alexander the great in the open field then yeah sure unlock the relic that's fine pyrus relic is probably not worth getting because nobody has them in a usable state anyway no one's using Gigas Khan regardless saladin you know if you're still using saladin you need to use them then fine maybe unlock it but like other than that bro like these relics are they came into the game dead on arrival and I feel like that's kind of that probably wasn't their intention I don't know why they waited so long but please please just double relic them right now just like I, we we need it these are actually pointless relics Zhuge Liang is like a 10 out of 10 and Alexander the Great with the relic is like a 5 out of 10 right so it's like what are we even doing here you know okay now the other part of this video is talking about where are the prime commanders okay we've been asking where are the relics for months but we've been actually asking where are the new prime commanders for even longer than that I feel like people didn't even realize it's been almost a year since we got Joan of Arc Prime bro that's crazy I can't I can't believe it's been that long that's nuts it feels like it was very recent she feels like a one of the newest command I mean she is one of the newest commanders in the game but even still like it's been a long time so what happened right like we had confirmed in a developer I think it was video or live stream that they do plan on releasing a a prime commander for every epic in the game right now okay that they said that that was their intention and yet it's been almost a year since we saw the last one so did they decide to not like are we done with primes are we not getting any more prime commanders it's possible guys it's been a year so what happened okay well I'm gonna give you guys my theory as to why we are not seeing any more prime commanders in rise of kingdoms now this could change but here was here was my original theory okay and I had to wait a couple of commander cycles to uh, to see if it was the case my original theory was that when Juga Leon came into the game he had what is I refer to a platinum or diamond shine you see that little that little silver glisten that goes across his body okay I've talked about this in previous videos but basically all of the super powerful commanders in the game recently have had that gold shine and my assumption was that because Juga Leon was so strong he marked sort of a new tier of legendary and they changed that gold shine to platinum or diamond or whatever you want to call it right there it is again and I basically had to wait until they implemented uh Hua Chibing and Justinian to see if that would be the case and unfortunately both of these commanders actually do still have a gold shine that goes across their body so that kind of put a wrinkle in my in my thought process and basically my theory was that they were going to release three primes per generation and you know obviously the golden generation that started with Nevsky got Boudicca Prime Joan of Arc Prime and CPO Prime and I thought the platinum generation would get three more primes that was my theory in my head that's out the window so what else could it be well from a content creator perspective I can tell you guys right away that new players are very confused by prime commanders they have no idea why like when they watch my video they're like why is your Joan of Arc expertise why why is why is she legendary right like how did you they a lot of comments ask me how do you turn your epic CPO into legendary CPO like that's what new players think they think 
oh they're the same person there's got to be some mechanic later on in late game that lets me convert my epics to legendaries and that's not the case right people are just confused when they're new players so my assumption is that Lilith sees that confusion and is like okay maybe we should dial back the prime commanders it makes new players feel weird it confuses them why do we why confuse new players like there's no point in confusing new players it's better if they're not confused right and that's possibly one of the reasons and arguably one of the best reasons why Lilith would stop implementing prime commanders the second reason that they may no longer be releasing prime commanders is that a lot of people were pretty vocal about not liking CPO prime as an idea people love the commander like his skills he's a very powerful commander people like that but they didn't like that they were reusing a commander people thought that it was sort of lazy they thought it was stupid like oh my god they're running out of ideas why are they doing this and then Boudicca came into the game and they said the same thing like why are we getting the same commander again a lot of people thought it was lazy now I was not one of those people I defended prime commanders because I said that they do have a new design so they did still have to pay an artist to redesign these commanders they had to redesign all the skills they had to add new talent trees so effectively they are a brand new commander there's nothing there's nothing copy and paste about them besides the literal name right and so for me that doesn't feel lazy and the final reason that they probably stopped implementing prime commanders is because they realized that there's so many other historical figures that they could be implementing like Justinian like Hua Che Bing these are commanders that came into the game after they stopped effectively I mean they could still implement prime commanders they never said that they're stopping I'm just noticing it's been almost a year and I'm like oh my god maybe they stopped but since they quote unquote uh stopped releasing prime commanders they've released a lot of new interesting and unique historical figures right they really have and so perhaps the developers just thought okay well why would we keep re-releasing the old commanders when some people think it's lazy new players get confused and there's also so many historical figures that we have to work with like we might as just we might as well just go with that right we might as well just put new people in the game because it's it's a win 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 and i think those three are the most likely reasons but i will note that a lot of people seem to like the prime commander system at least at this point i like prime commanders and i get a lot of people asking me where is sun Tzu prime and that is pretty much the sort of the reason why i'm talking about this in this video i think we've had a lot of discussion over the past few videos about infantry okay i released my infantry guide saying don't invest in infantry i also released a video talking about why i quit being an infantry main and a lot of people in those comments are saying we need sun Tzu prime that's basically the lord and savior that like if they release sun Tzu prime and he is an infantry commander and he is a god tier infantry commander like he's dropping tactical nukes from a satellite okay uh then maybe infantry has a fighting chance like he's got to be Zhuge Liang on crack that's that's how good Sun Tzu Prime has to be to save infantry okay it's got to be circular AoE fucking nine target circular AoE 2000 damage factor no reduction per target like he's got to be an absolute he's got to ruin the game that's how good he's got to be okay and I think people want that I think people want a Sun Tzu Prime Sun Tzu is arguably and still to this day in my opinion the most powerful epic commander people have played with Sun Tzu Prime since day one he's he's somebody that people love to use he's a great AoE commander right uh and I think this is one of the reasons why people maybe picked infantry to focus on is because of how good Sun Tzu is in the early game and so I think people want a Sun Tzu Prime I want a Sun Tzu Prime I hope we get Sun Tzu Prime but because of all the reasons that I listed in this video and because they haven't released one in almost 11 months uh we actually might not be getting any more primes at all that's just the cash just the facts boys what do you think about that guys i would love to hear from you guys in the comment section below about all of this about prime commanders about the relics and how they're already outdated at the time of coming into the game and also while you're down there in the comments don't forget to join the giveaway you can literally win a hundred dollars for free just by following me on social media and subscribing to this channel and also my second channel click the bell to be notified the next time i upload a rise of kingdoms video and while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdom players might see it and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace